This is Next Century Studios. You love the Bucks. You love JoeBucksFan.com. Now get fired up for Joe Bucks Fan TV. Always edgy, never predictable. It's your favorite website on video. Joe Bucks Fan TV is brought to you by Dolman Law Group, your personal injury attorneys. By Paradise Worldwide Transportation, Paradise is your ride. And by Edmore's Cadillac Tampa. Now grab a cold one and put your feet up. Here is Joe Bucks Fan TV. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Joe Bucks Fan TV. I'm Jeff Carlson. Great to see me again, as always. And it really is good to see me again. Hey, uh, we talked about last week uh, cover three and what that means and out of a 50 defense, which is a standard set that we always have. And I uh, want to talk to you about why cover two was developed because of what the offense thinks and what the offense can accomplish in cover three, uh, which we talked about all plays are open and you can run hitches, you can run go routes, you can run out routes, you can throw post slant, anything you want when the coverage is off. So the first thing uh, that a defense says, well, man, we keep giving up these, these plays to the outside, what are we gonna do about it? And so what they do do about it, and if you had, again, the standard 50 defense against it, this is, this is old school, this goes back, but it, it's all based off of this, okay? You have your free safety, you have your strong safety over here to help on, on that, knowing you've got cover three. So when number five, and that's uh, the only thing we need to call him, right, is number five, on the Buccaneers, you come up and you see this, you see this look, you can think, man, the world's, the world's anything I want. I don't have to check out of my play, whatever uh, the coach called on the sideline, I'm just gonna go with it because it's a standard look. Now, we keep hitting Mike Williams or Regis Ben out here, and you got uh, Kellen Winslow running through here or doing something else, and we're, everything's going well. So the defensive coordinator says, we gotta stop those, we gotta stop all these plays going out here. What are we gonna do? So the way we do that is we're gonna, we wanna bring up those corners and get them in the way of this. So that's where, the, where cover two started. These corners would come up to the outside. Instead of being on an inside shade and using the sideline as my help, come over here to the outside, come up and sit down here on the outside. So now that immediately does something to me, first of all. And then this guy is gonna rotate back and this guy's gonna rotate to the weak side. So cover two is a weak roll coverage. Cover three is a strong coverage. We see the strong safety to the strong side. Now we're gonna roll to the weak side and control the flats with a, with, with, a, uh, with a defender that can, play the, that can play the pass because we used, to defend the, we used to defend the flat with these guys over here and they're not the best defenders uh, of the pass that we have on the football team. These guys are out here. So we're gonna now bring up our corners on the outside and cover that and take away the hitch, the out route. Uh, and now the go route becomes something that we can really look at, but it takes usually a pretty strong arm to make it happen. But you take away all those outside routes and that makes uh, the offense adjust almost every one of their plays, or at least the majority of their outside routes, they have to now adjust them. And that's what really sets the, uh, the quarterback up for wanting to make adjustments at the line of scrimmage. And in this situation, so, you now know, as we talked about, Sam is going to come from this side, but he's going to instead now he has to cover this because this guy just vacated that area. You know, in, in football, you've got to be sound. Sound meaning you cover all of your areas that you need to cover. Knowing that they have a guy that's going to cover this, this guy used to cover that, we now know he's going to do this. When we see that cover two, he's going to do that. Most likely, they're going to slide this guy in to come here quick and then this guy's going to come to the outside, and that way we try to confuse these two blockers. And that's what uh, shifting to the weak side, rotating over the top. When we shift inside from the weak side, they're going to rotate. So that matters. If they shift this way with the, with the defensive lineman, they're going to stay that side. And that's something that the quarterback would know. If they shift inside here, they're going to stay this way. So they might, might show you cover two, but if they shift these guys down, they're guaranteed they're going to roll this way. So when they shift to the weak side down here on the line, the, uh, they're going to make an equal and opposite reaction to the coverage over the top. So now, since they rotated this guy inside, we know this guy's going to blitz, this guy's going to come back, and we have cover two to the weak side. So whenever that happens, uh, we now know that our short stuff is gone. 
quarterback knows I can't throw a hitch, I can't throw an out route to this kind of stuff. And now what opens up, because this guy is out here playing hard, pushing him, he's supposed to be rerouting this guy into the safety. Now this is open, this is the place we want to throw the ball. This guy rotates and this guy leaves this huge hole down the middle for guys like 82 to get into, right? He's going to get down here. So we want to throw down the middle or throw out here and cover two. Those are the, those are the weak holes, and that's what, it, that's what makes a quarterback salivate thinking, I'm going to get this guy down the middle. And sometimes you get, bring in another wide receiver and do the exact same thing. Okay, we change that Y, and we move them around and come up with different personnel packages to see who we can get down there faster. And uh, the next time we do this, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, cover two defense and then the Tampa two, because I know that uh, Barrett Rude has taken a lot of uh, flack over how he plays and he's not the uh, middle linebacker like Brian Urlacher or, or uh, uh, Ray Lewis or some guy like that. But that is not what the Buccaneers defense is predicated on, is having that guy do that. They put four big dudes up front, not just three, and they got to worry about that. But this guy's got to, this guy in the, in the uh, Tampa two worries about that guy going down the middle. So that's uh, the big difference. We're going to get into that. Um, but in this situation, cover two, when a quarterback sees that they've reduced on the weak side, we now know we're going to get a different, a different look and that they're going to rotate over the top. So uh, that's what changes to cover two, but it changes all of the routes. Okay? You used to have all those outside routes open and available. Now it, redu it changes and you cannot throw any of those routes. And you also, by rule or by definition, when you're in a quarterback's meeting, uh, you're being taught you now know you never, never throw the ball to single receiver on weak side. Can you read that? I never was a great writer, but hopefully you can read that. You never throw to the single receiver on cover two. So now as you're watching a football game, you might not be able to tell when you're watching it um, on television, but if you're actually at a game and you see two, the two safeties back here, and they have it like this, two receivers to one side and a single receiver to this side, if the quarterback throws it to that guy, he's forcing it. He's not supposed to do that. You do not throw the ball to a single receiver and cover two because he's now basically cut, double covered. This guy comes over the top, he's shallow, he's over the top, he's double covered. Now, this guy might be great, and I might still want to throw it, but then that would depend on how good that free safety is to get over here. Because this guy's supposed to stay down shallow, this guy's supposed to go over the top. If a quarterback can throw it uh, great, then he might be able to throw that. But you don't throw to the single receiver side because there's nobody, there's nobody on this side to hold this safety. See, on this side, if it, whether, this is, whether this is Winslow or even a faster guy, this guy is holding this guy. So I run this one out here. If he runs into him anywhere in here, now I can throw it out here with no worry about this guy. And this guy's shallow. That's the game, and that's what running offense is all about. So that's cover two in a basic, in a basic shell. Remember, never throw to the single receiver side in cover two.